Christ is in our midst. I love to have the children come up front. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you know what we just celebrated a couple days ago? Did you have to do something at, at home? I think a lot of people did some things. We celebrated Thanksgiving, right? We celebrated Thanksgiving. In the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving this past week. But in other countries, they, they also have, many countries also have Thanksgiving. And they, and, uh, and they celebrate it, but it might be at a different time. And do you know what it is, what the main thing is about Thanksgiving? Do you know what the main thing is? What the purpose is? To do what? To spend time with your family. To spend time with your family. Very good. That's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's, it's such an important thing. We have our church family. And I always feel so good when, when we're together as a church family. And when we're together at home with our families. God made us so that we would feel close to our families. And when we can do things together as a family... That's very, very important. And another thing is right in the name, right in the name of Thanksgiving. This is one of the meanings of Thanksgiving. It's built right in the name of it. Do you know what that might be? Um, well, right, yeah, Thanksgiving, to give thanks, okay? To give thanks, to be thankful, to be thankful. And, and when our country decided to have a thanksgiving which was a long time ago many years ago they said we should have a day dedicated to give thanks to god for all his blessings for us and so that's that's how we got thanksgiving and that's one of the main things we should be thinking about to be thankful to give thanks now i was thinking about this how many times a year do we have thanksgiving just one time a year. Does that mean we just give thanks to God one time a year? No, no that's right. We, we, we should do more than one time a year. And you know, another interesting thing, you know the divine liturgy that we're celebrating right now? Another name for the divine liturgy is the Eucharist, okay? The Eucharist, we're celebrating the Eucharist. And the word Eucharist also means thanksgiving. That's what it means. Eucharist. So, so we're celebrating today a Thanksgiving service. Every Sunday when we come together and celebrate the liturgy, we're celebrating a Thanksgiving service. Does that mean we're giving thanks to God as a community only one time a week? Is that what we should do? Just give thanks once a week? Again, no. Really, we should be thankful all the time. Now, once a year, we have a special American holiday, Thanksgiving. And once a week, or even more occasionally, when there's a special feast, we'll have a special service, the Divine Liturgy, where we come together as a church family and give thanks to God by celebrating the Divine Liturgy. But we should be thankful all the time. Not just once a year, not just once a week, but we should be thankful all the time. We should be thankful every day. Our heart should be a heart that's filled with thanks every day. And I was thinking about it. I thought of five ways that being a thankful person is helpful. Okay? Being thankful. Now, when I say being thankful, I, might, I mean noticing the things that are going on in your life and being thankful for it, just to be thankful. Maybe to be thankful to God, maybe to be thankful for, to your parents, to be thankful to other people. This is what I mean when I say to be thankful. It's, it's having a, a heart that is, has this feeling of thanks. And I, and I thought of five, five things that make being thankful helpful for us, okay? One, it, it helps us to be more confident. It helps us, 
it helps us to be stronger people. When we are filled with thanks, we're stronger. We're, we're less afraid when we are filled with thanks. So that's one reason. It helps us to be confident and strong. Second reason helps us to be more positive, helps us to be happier. When we're thankful and we, we notice the things around us that help us that we should be thankful for, instead of noticing the things that I don't have and the things that I want and the things I wish went differently, instead of thinking about that all the time, instead thinking of the, the things I'm thankful for, good things that have happened, a beautiful sunny day, the clouds, the way the sun is shining on the clouds and the colors it makes at sunrise or sunset, a nice meal, a family that loves us, all these so many things every day. We could think of new things to be thankful for. And when we are thankful, it helps us to be more confident and more positive. And when we're more positive, it helps us to be happier. Number three, being thankful helps other people feel better. When you are thankful to other people, they feel better. When you say thank you to someone, when you let them know that you are grateful, that they've done something and you're thankful for it, it makes them feel good. And that's good for us. We want to help others to feel good. That's a way of showing love for other people by being, by being thankful. Number four, number four, if we thought of something before we go to bed that we're thankful for, we'll sleep better. I think we'll sleep better. Sometimes we go to bed thinking of scary things or bad things or, or we're upset about something. But if we think about being thankful, it helps us sleep better. And, and I was thinking that you could even write it down. And I think that would even help you sleep even better. You, to write it down, think of something, one thing. You could probably think of 10 things, but, but let's just think of one thing before you go to bed and you could write it down, something you're thankful for that happened during the day. Very simple. And it'll help you sleep better, help you feel better, help you sleep better. And number five, when we are thankful, we feel God around us. We feel that he's with us more so. You know, he is always with us, but sometimes we don't like think about it. Or we don't feel it. We don't, we don't know it. But when we have a heart that's filled with thanks, with thankfulness, it helps us know that God is with us. So, so those are five ways that giving thanks are helpful for us. And um, I would like to give you, I'd like to give everybody uh, a challenge as we're about to enter December, right? December's in a couple days. We're about to enter December and we're getting closer to Christmas. As we get into December and approaching Christmas, I would like you to have a Thanksgiving journal. All that means is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. And before you go to bed at night, write one thing that you're thankful for. And do it during December. Starting tonight, you could do it. And do it, do it up to Christmas, okay? As part of our preparation for Christmas, as part of the way we're going to prepare just before you go to bed and have it have your paper you can even number it you know one two three four number it down this side of the paper and every day every night before you go to bed you just write one thing that you're thankful for i don't care what it is it might be that you had a nice lunch you liked lunch today i'm thankful for my nice lunch whatever it is and you write it down and then, and just one, one every night before you go to bed, and 
you'll notice at the end of the month, you'll have a whole list of things that you're thankful for. And this is one thing though, try not to write the same thing twice, okay? When you write something down, if you say, for instance, I had a good lunch, that's a freebie, you can use that one. If you write, I had a good lunch, you can't write, I had a good lunch on another day. You gotta just use it once, okay? You can just use it once. And so, by the time Christmas comes, you can look through it and read about all the good things. And sometimes when we get sad, it's good to lead it, look at our Thanksgiving journal. Look at all the things that we're thankful for. Because a lot of times when we're sad, we forget the things that we should be thankful for. So I'm giving you this challenge, not just to you, Abel and Emmanuel, but, and not just to the kids watching and all our children, but to everybody. I'm not gonna check. I'm not gonna go and say, show me your, your Thanksgiving journal. But it's a, it's a little challenge I'm offering you to just write one thing before you go to bed of what you're thankful for between now and Christmas. And I think it'll be a beautiful way to help prepare us for the celebration of the Lord's birth in Bethlehem. Let's stand up and I'll pray over you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh Lord, we thank you for all your gifts, for all your blessings. I thank you for this service. I thank you for all the people who are here and who are watching. I thank you for the children of our community and we ask for your blessings upon them. Lord, help us always to be thankful, to have hearts that are filled with thanks, every day thinking about ways that we are thankful to you and to the people around us. And help us tell people how grateful and thankful we are for them in our lives. We give you glory, Lord, and we give you thanks, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Okay, you can be seated.